All right, guys, what is up? First of all, no, no, no. No apologies. I will say I've missed you, and I've missed this sweet little camera. I haven't been picking it up here a lot lately. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let's do a little catch up. Light off. Enjoying that, actually. Um, oh, I've been working on cars. Uh, my car was broke down for a minute. The truck was broke down for a minute. Kristen's van has been having issues. Uh, so I've been trying to balance all that. Along with that, I'll show you when we get home, but I've been redoing furniture. We've been buying furniture cheap and then um, refinishing, if you will, and then selling. Um, for some money. I can't really think of anything else right now. Um, but today, actually, I am getting ready to go do a little bit of caulking. I'll take you inside here and show you what I've been doing. Uh, I'm actually going to do a separate caulking video. Um, forgive me, I can't remember who it was, uh, but somebody on my Instagram asked me if I could do a caulking video, so I'm going to. So we're going to do a little video on that. Uh, and then I'm going to actually do another part, so it will be a two-part, because uh, a, a buddy of mine, um, their shower, tile shower, needs to be caulked in some places, so. But, uh, enough of that. What is all this, you ask? Well, well let me turn the camera the right way. There we go. Uh, this is, whoa, hold on. Gosh, guys, I am freaking a little bit rusty here. And I got a pee, so my mind kind of everywhere. Uh, so yeah, I've got some potting soil in the back, uh, I bought some planter pot starter things, uh, the kids have been wanting to plant stuff, Chris has been wanting to plant stuff, Bailey wanted these, I like zucchini, corn, who doesn't like corn, um, tomatoes, I hate tomatoes, but Kristen likes them, strawberries, everybody likes strawberries, and I thought, hey, maybe we could grow our own tomatoes this year, so that is what we're going to do. See all the little bumps on my finger? Yep. Poison oak or ivy or something. It itches. And it's everywhere. Ha, ah, it's just so hard not to freaking oh, I just want to like bite it off. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna get out of the truck, I'm gonna grab my caulking gun. Uh, I got to caulk it, then I'm gonna go visit with mom for a minute. Uh, my brother just got back from Spain, so we're gonna go say hi to him. And then uh, I gotta come back and do a little bit of touch up paint. I'll show you what's up right now. Okay, so we are inside. Uh, this is a rental property, and I did the drywall in here. Um, there actually wasn't a lot of drywall to do, but uh, anyway. So the drywall got done, then we put the trim up, and um, you can't. Okay, let me see how I wanna say this. A few. Or a couple little things that you can be a little bit lazy when you're doing your cuts uh, they don't have to be as precise and what I'm getting at is um, where, where the miters come together so say here and here now those cuts weren't perfect if you look if it'll pick it up see that little gap right there at the end well that gap because I had cut it a little short um, it was more noticeable uh, so what you do is paintable latex caulking there we go um, I try to fill in all my holes clearly I miss some which is also what I'm doing today um, but here's a hole. There was a hole. This is this trim was actually uh, reused. I had it in the garage, and I mean it was salvageable. I had to pull some nails out. But um, anyway, as you can see, there were some places that I missed. Uh, so now I'm back to day one to run a bead of caulking. See this little gap right there? I want to run a bead down that, and then I'll let it dry while I'm over there visiting with Josh and then I'll come back and I don't need to run any more white on this short of where I patch the holes uh, but I will get this color paint and do a nice nice little uh, paint line down that 
This side's not so bad. Can't really see it anyway. The tops I'm not worried about. Mainly just, just these edges here. Uh, I wouldn't like it if I was living here. So I try to take a little bit of pride in what I do. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna stop now talking and sh do a little hint, quick tip kind of thing. Show you guys, I guess a couple little pointers, especially around the house, uh, that kind of caulking, stuff like that. So, uh, that all being said, oh, so this particular job, I had to, the windows were here, but I had to uh, rip down all these boards and uh, install those, and then I got this trim and installed that. And someone is crawling me. So, I'm gonna get started. All right, guys, I just finished up. Um, there's going to have to be a lot of editing because I know I talked a lot. Um, little clips of, uh, of the uh, caulking stuff. Pretty much all I was saying was any nail holes, any cracks, any uh, inconsistencies between the window and the wood, between the trim and the drywall such as say this crack right here you know you could run a small bit of caulking all the way down that wall make all those little cracks disappear and then once you paint it's like it it's like it never even was there all that stuff that your eye can be drawn to and uh, makes it go away and a lot of some people don't notice it some people do I guess it's all dependent uh, upon you and how picky you are uh, whoops I guess it's all dependent on you or your spouse or whoever uh, and how, how picky you want to be with it. So yeah, I went ahead and caulked those up. Uh, now I'm gonna go get the paint that I need and it should be pretty much, mm, no, not yet. I just messed it up right there. Close to being ready, but not ready yet. It needs to dry then I can do last little trim on those major edges and we'll be done uh, so I'm gonna clean this mess up because I'm done with the caulking uh, get the paint get it mixed and ready to go and then we'll see where we're at done doing Daddy. work and Daddy, show them I happen to have a couple young ladies who are super excited about the planting show that them. is about to go down. <gasps> this is my cousin. This is Bailey's cousin Lily. Lily. What's your middle name? Is it Ann? Kimberly. Kimberly. Oh. Kim. That's Lilikum. You could be like, that sounds like a plant. Lilikum. It's a lily gum. That'd be a weird plant name. It's a tree. A lily gum. Anyway, we're gonna go home. Uh, we're gonna get the kids rounded up and we are gonna freaking plant. Stop. Plant some what? stuff. Yeah, I'll have to show you guys our chickens. I haven't, you haven't seen the chickens uh, for quite some time, probably. Um, I have still yet to get the uh, coop completely taken care of as far as stationed where it needs to be situated fenced and what have you but yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a busy busy person where are you headed hey hey Hey! 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 Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? Going inside and getting ready. Hey. Did you get pregnant? I finally got some freaking stairs up to this thing the other day. Hi guys! How goes it? Good! Because I'm the heaviest. How's come? 
How's come you don't have a vest on? Oh, oh. Maybe, remember you're supposed to? I told you it was clear. I told you it was clear. The pool went green the other day. And Is it warm? It must be. Okay, so I mentioned that I had been doing a bunch of stuff uh, on the side. Um, this I'm pretty proud of, to be honest. So, looks like I need to put a little bit more putty in that. But this drawer was busted right here. This wasn't here at all. Found a piece of wood. Uh, shot a couple nails down in it. Glued it. Puttied it. And, um, yeah. Once it's painted, I don't think you'll ever know that it was uh, not part of it. So anyway, these are coming off, um, and it, it really is just a piece by piece kind of thing. Uh, some of them, the hardware can stay. Hi, Elias. Hi, how are you? Huh? Little blonde headed boo. It's just, uh, I guess, I don't know what you want to call it. Vintage, I guess, maybe. I've heard some people say that. Um, but we paint it, and then we sand it down so that it looks kind of worn and, and older, I guess you could say, but new. Um, so this piece in particular was just uh, a wood color. It is solid wood. Um, and we sanded it down until it, until it looked like this. So every piece is a little bit different. Hi, buddy. The next one I'm working on, actually the one that that drawer goes to, is this piece. Uh, so it gets, it got a base coat of white, and then I did two coats of this gray, and then we sand it down, and, you know, some of the places it comes through, the white does, and some place I sanded it so that the, it goes all the way down to the wood, um, but again, it's just a little, you know, you get the dresser for almost, I don't want to say nothing, but next to nothing, and then, um, a little bit of elbow grease. Here's another one I got that I want to do. And yeah, that's some of what I've been doing. But uh, right now, I'm getting ready to... Hey, Elias, you got to wait for me, dude. I'm talking to the baby. Uh, I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not because Elias, but... I wanted to start filling these uh, pots up with dirt, but I don't think he's going to allow me to do that. Here's the chickens, currently. Uh, we did end up with one rooster, but uh, yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good, just, you know, chilling out. Chief's still getting used to them, so we can't let them run right now. How you guys doing today? You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, well, good good talk. I'll see you later. Last time I was here, Elias, he tried to put his hands in the fire. For real? Wait, or really, did he put his hands in the fire? He tried to. Got it! <laughs> I got poop! Wait! So we're down here on the bottom, and there's a bird's nest, and... I don't know if you guys can see that. Because I can't see what the camera sees yet. But there's eggs in it. And I don't want to touch. I don't know if that's like a myth. Or if it's true. But I don't want to touch. Is it? So I don't want to touch it. I'm going to show you on the camera. Yeah. Yeah. No. Alright. I think there's eggs. And I'm about to look on the camera to see. All right, guys, uh, next day, I actually, it's been a pretty busy day, and I didn't take you along, uh, mainly because I was in the middle of a bunch of stuff and uh, trying to finish up a couple projects, um, but then I got home. Hi, what are you doing? Come on, dirty butt. Come on, this way. Uh, I got home and I started digging into a few other projects that I've been wanting to get done. Um, Kristen, I'll take you out there. 
Kristen actually called me. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, so uh, yeah, Kristen had to run the town, do some stuff with the house. Uh, we're getting ready to rent it out again. But she called me and she said, hey, there's a set of pool steps at uh, a house down the road. And I said, okay. Um, ours aren't horrible, and, but I actually had not even set them up yet. Um, but here's the steps that she called me about. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm assuming the only thing I can come up with is the bottom of the pool must not be level. It must be, let's see, it must be cockeyed like this. So with this one not having any handrails or no way to anchor it, such as this one, um, it was kicked forward, say like that, right? So then there was a big gap between the pool edge and the step i was afraid that kids might you know in a being in a rush or being kids get their leg slipped down through there and it'd be more of a danger um so unfortunately or as of right now the steps are useless hey you zip it bud uh what i was gonna do and i still may sometime maybe probably not i don't know I was a little disappointed that the wood that I had uh, did not clear all the way. We were just shy of clearing. Um, but there was a bunch of screws sticking up. Um, oh, you can see one right here. There's a screw, and then there's one down there, and then there's actually another one behind it, and another one behind there. Uh, with the kids running in, jumping out, I mean, pretty easily you could probably get cut there. So, uh, so that and and along with that adding stability to this um having that more rigid with that two by six down there and then a piece of decking at top that's screwed in there and that's screwed into the back side of the metal drawing the metal up it's pretty solid it ain't going anywhere so what i'm getting ready to do right now is me and the baby are going to sweep out the pool because the pool is filthy so that is how i'm going to end today uh, we'll go ahead and start a new one today as well, but I'm going to get ready to, uh, run the, run the sweeper in this. Dude, you hush your mouth when you're talking to me. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for sticking around, guys. Um, appreciate it. I know I've been kind of off in la-la land, but, uh, things have been crazy, so. Be patient with me, won't you? Thanks. Uh... Oh, I didn't show you guys this. I never showed you this. I want to show you the barn, and it's still not all the way done because I want a piece of fascia across here. But we painted the big piece of hunking wood that's up there, and then I painted along the bottom, and then I painted the edge trim. I'm also going to paint the top here, and then the top ridge. I'm going to paint down this side. The garage door is painted now and the man door is painted. It really makes the garage look a lot less awful. Um, so anyway, okay, that's it. Thanks, and uh, I will see you, I don't know, probably like, uh, yeah, next time.